Today is going to be a fun exercise on like what not to do and how to make your eyes smaller, your nose wider, or your lips turn down. Let's go. We're even going to drop our cheek right next to our lip. I'll show you how. If you're doing any of these things, watch. Step one. If you want to make your eyes short, start with your liner a little thicker in the corner and then go straight to the end and stop. That'll really shorten your eye. And then put a nice thin line underneath to make sure you close it in real good, okay? I'll do the fixes at the end or what I suggest, but right now we're going to do the things that you might be doing that might be having an opposite effect of what you want. Next, let's make our nose wider. Let's contour right on the sides. Right on the sides. Then let's blend. There we go. We just made a nice wide bridge. Okay, next, let's drop our lips together. Let's take our lip line straight down to the corner. Oh, that's a problem. Oh, okay, now let's get our cheeks right next to our lip. I smiled, I placed on the apple, dropped it. <laughs> Uh-oh, where'd the blush go? Let's move. I'm going to take a nice light concealer and brighten up my eye, because that's what everybody says. You got to go a shade or two lighter. Huh. Well, that looks buffy. Okay, so what I'm gonna do on the other side is some things that I would do or recommend a little different if you want. If this is what you like, that's awesome. But for me, I'm gonna do something different. First, same liner, a little thinner in the inner corner and not doing a cat, but lifting the outer corner and just kind of detailing the outer edge of the eye, not the whole bottom. Makes your eye more open and out. Next, put the lines on the nose very close together, closer than you would think, okay? And then blend. You'll get a smaller bridge and a slimmer look to the nose. Okay, lip. The end is not our friend, 40s and up. So we're gonna go around. You don't have to overline if you don't want to, but just try to fade into the corner so we don't get a drop. Here, here. So just fade your liner into the corner. I like to keep it a little more rounded. That being said, you don't have to overfill. Next, put your blush where you think your highlighter would go. And if you use a glowy blush, two birds, one stone. That's the MAC Glow Play and Heat. And your cheeks telling a totally different story. I know I've done some of these before, but there's new people every day. And if there's something you can learn, yay. 